Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents. I am doing this video only as a, see, we're not that type of organization type video. And there will be some of a similar title when I finish. Most companies, if they are getting ready to have a sale, they advertise, advertise, advertise. If a product is getting ready to go obsolete, they advertise, advertise, advertise. Because why? They're only interested in the so-called dollar bills. Ladies and gentlemen, SACOM, SITCOM, all the organizations that I founded will never act or operate that way. No, we're not flush with any cash, but I refuse to pimp you all that way. Now, there was a gentleman who I have not met yet, and he's not really introduced himself. He has made an attempt to purchase a Satpak Prime. Uh, no names will ever be mentioned when I talk about stuff like this because that's important to me that I just talk about the situation and not about a person, okay? So that's not what this is to embarrass anybody or anything like that. This is just to let you know of a situation. He is an Omega side packer. Now make sure y'all understand, Omega is $10 million in tax credits. We were supposed to have that done first before we had the rest of y'all's done, but there was some misunderstanding and confusion with the process, which is partially what the delay was. And I was allowing individuals to work it out. And we had someone who came to the rescue who says, no, I got this. This is what I do. And they got it and they started taking care of it. And so they started uh, contacting people and the one thing we've been getting, well, I haven't heard from y'all. And we keep trying to tell people you weren't supposed to hear from us. We never promised you you were going to hear from us. What are you thinking? Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. We're not that type of company. These are securities. You're not supposed to be hearing from us. You're not going to be given no monthly reports. There's no need. These things were supposed to sit until they matured. Sorry. We knew that most people didn't know, but we figured over the last couple of years they could do some research. Sorry, let me get rid of this because I don't want to take no be snap nobody snapshots. Okay, it just it, there ain't no reason for no shots to be snapped. Okay, shoot, why would I take a snapshot? Why wouldn't I just videotape it like I'm doing now? And get on out of here, snappy. It'll be one second because I can't touch the screen while this overlay, and it's called an overlay, is here. So I've already clicked on it several times, and if this happens every time I start the computer again every single time how do i stop it well i can just turn that off but i need it on i need it on i need to have a snap of the shop up because the snap of the shop up helps when these idiots continue to hack the system okay so the snapshots help puts me back on track and i take it way back i, I just go all the way back to a particular day Ain't no reason. I already saved it and everything. Ain't no reason to keep playing these games. I ain't got to reload nothing. I I save everything. And then I just snap it right on. Back to where it's supposed to be. Elastic. Might as well call it the elastic. Come on now. It still ain't letting me do nothing, y'all. This is Windows. And I do have a lot of things going on. But this is a Mac. It's supposed to be able to handle this. And it set definitely can't. Can't handle a waterfall going in the background and teas blowing in the wind. That's why I didn't say trees. I said teas blowing in the wind. Them my teas. See, straight pole with a line. So, it can't handle that. Also, ladies and gentlemen, I have not been exhausted. I just, today, I had myself. Now, I want you to understand this because I don't want you to misunderstand me. I have myself some peanut butter and jelly. Now, to some of you, that may not sound like nothing. Let me, under, let me understand my understanding. 
ladies and gentlemen, peanut butter and jelly, especially if you give me some apricot pineapple mixed jelly, preserve, excuse me, not jelly, but preserve, and you give me, man, some chunky peanut butter, we going to town. And I had some buttermilk bread that was just sitting there and it was all soft because of the heat and it was all warm. And I said, I'm making myself peanut butter and jelly in the morning with this stuff because this is the perfect bread. And that's what I did. Okay. Let me say it again. That's what I did. Microsoft keeps loading Microsoft Edge and I keep deleting it and it keeps loading it back on up. So we ain't going to play that today Microsoft go on about your business go on about your business Microsoft with that stupid book I mean stuff let's get back to the side packs ladies and gentlemen as I was mentioning before I was so rudely interrupted we're not that kind of organization people were calling and emailing and texting and oh yeah they were trying to figure out all kind of reasons and means of getting to me because they wanted to talk to me specifically about this and about that, about their ideas. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, look, we are not under the Securities Act or the Securities Exchange Act or the Exchange Act. We're under the March 9, 1933 Act, the securities that were created as a result of that act. Now, I want you to understand, yes, they created securities that day. That's the whole reason for the new money. The new money is backed by, pay attention, securities. Don't believe me, go back and read it. The new money, bill of exchange, bank of protection, trade acceptances, and contracts with the U.S. government. All of those people who have those contracts with the U.S. government, you don't even realize what you have. So go back and read the act and understand that those are the obligations that the act is talking about they don't get to deny that well they keep doing it i know they keep doing this and they keep doing that look ladies and gentlemen i am not captain save um i'm not there to tell you how to do everything when someone stands in your way you have to what either figure out a way to go around them or do what I used to do when I was a kid. This is how I got my nickname. I used to go right through them. They called me Bulldozer. I'm not joking. My rule was I don't go around, I go through. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm now starting to go through. I just had to build up and build up. We can't build it up and build it up. That's why we're solid. <coughs> oh. Solid as a rock! Okay, that's what happens, ladies and gentlemen. I had to, let me get this out of the way because, oh, I. by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you something. This product right here, 360 Total Security, I want to tell you I paid for it for three years! 360 Total Security. Paid for it. For three years! I paid for that product. An automatic update and so forth for three years. It was only $69. Now I say only $69 is because I needed something to where I didn't have to hack. Okay, and now I was willing to pay that for three years. Ladies and gentlemen, do you understand that's almost $22 a year? Okay, let, let's do $22.35. All right, got it? I can handle $22.35 a year for a firewall, for a virus scan, for a registry cleaner, for a, what do you, uh, stupid download, uh, driver download, software download, ladies and gentlemen, software update download, Windows update download, Windows up patcher, ladies and gentlemen, it's called total security, so it has a lot of stuff, it's not the only thing I run, I got Webroot, Webroot, see, let me show you Webroot, Webroot, right here, that's Webroot, so I got 360 Total Security, Webroot, and there's one more, and it's that one right there, Advanced System Care. That gives me this registry booster. When my registry gets to be 100, I can boost it. Okay, free up. Uh, they got a free recorder. I don't use that junk. 
Got a free recorder. I'm not advertising for 360. I'm just telling you what I got. Now I will be advertising for one company and I'll be doing it free of charge. Won't They won't be charging me nothing. Many people have solar, had solar, or are thinking about getting solar. So I'm going to do a video telling you about my experiences with solar. Telling you about what I did to save on solar. However, I bought a battery, ba 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 battery for my solar system. <coughs> the battery was 24 volts. With one company, who are going to name Nameless, they got big in their title. Their battery cost me $1,400. $99 for shipping. It's a heavy battery. But with this company I'm with now, their name Evo, E-V-O battery. E-V-O, ladies and gentlemen, their battery was $950. And guess what? Shipping was free! Say what? A $500 difference? What the? And their battery was brand new? What the? Yeah, the other one was refurbished. $1,400 for a refurbished battery. $950 for the brand new battery. The refurbished one has a 10 year guarantee and I already have to send it back within a year. You feel me? So Evo, not only did I order the battery from them on pay attention because this is important, Wednesday, they shipped that battery next day express through FedEx. I got it yesterday. All I can tell you is, for the weight of that battery, everybody else ships ground. These guys did not ship this thing ground. And the first thing I did was I sent them an email thanking them, telling them that I was impressed. And I don't get impressed that often. Ladies and gentlemen, I've had things shipped to me that have weight on it, like the solar panels. Took a week. The other battery took almost a week, uh, six days, to get to me. Because everybody else ships it ground. But not these guys. Now I'm not saying they're going to continue to keep it the way they are. But I told them. Evo battery. And hold on. Let me make sure I got the name correct. I got to look at the battery. Yep. E-V-O. E as in Edward. V as in Victor. O as in Oliver. Oliver. Oliver Stone. No. Just E-V-O battery. I'm going to take you to the site real quick. Then we're going to get back to my conversation talking about these bonds and things. You know, because we always got to talk about the and things. Why? Because there's some people who benefit from the and things. We have those other people who they want to come here and they just want to, you know, eat the main course and go on. Y'all y'all have those people who come to your house just to eat. I used to be one of those when I was a kid. I used to go over to people's house just to eat. Mama told me, uh -uh, I done cooked enough food in this house for y'all to be going over to somebody else's house and eat. No, don't y'all dad be going over to somebody else's house and eating their food, making them think that I don't feed y'all. I ain't kidding. That was my mama. What my mama didn't understand is I was going over to that house, eating and going over to hers and eating too. I was getting my feel on. But she was right. And so I stopped doing that. But I do recognize that a lot of other people do that. E V O B A T T E R Y. Now, look, let's do this because I, I want you guys to understand something. The batteries, oh, battery E V O. Okay, battery E V O. That's the website. I, I've never been to the website except for when I ordered the battery. That was my first time going to their website. And I wasn't intending on going to the website. I just decided to look to see if they had the battery. Now, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. We guaranteed the best lithium battery prices in the USA. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to understand. I agree. But this may not help all of you because a lot of you are not on solar. So I'll be doing a video for those of you who are on solar. And if I had known because the solar game has changed since the last time I had solar okay this 28 amp hour no 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 you want a battery that has large amp hours like the one I have is 120 amp hours I should have gone with the 48 volt but I have two 26 volt batteries now okay 
12 volt 180 amp hours no big deal I have this battery too from that other company big battery and let's let's see how much this one costs mine cost me twelve hundred dollars so let's see how much this 12 volt battery costs here let's see if I would have saved money going with battery Evo seven hundred and seventy five dollars I am not lying to you I paid twelve hundred dollars for a battery that would have cost me roughly five hundred dollars less the battery is sitting at the base of my feet behind the desk underneath and like he said it was 1030 and let's see if I see anything about refurbished but that's the company yeah it's repurposed so and here's the thing I understand why it's repurposed you guys most of you don't understand lithium batteries okay oh look at that they give you the charger for $35 now that's interesting I should have asked them oh well so again I will be pumping up this company why because they have what I needed and they expressed it nobody does that now ladies and gentlemen and the actual battery looks a lot better even though it's the same battery let me say it again even though it's the same battery let me say it again even though it's the same battery looks better than the original one that I got which I didn't have a problem disconnecting immediately and throwing it in the box all right so that's enough about that let's get back to this um sapak sapak sapaks ladies and gentlemen many people were trying to get in touch with Eon because they wanted Eon to walk them through what he would do if he was in their situation now although I admire and appreciate people doing things like that because yeah that shows that they have some confidence in me and having confidence in a person is not what I would ever advise because the scriptures advise us do not put your trust in nobles nor in the sons of both earthly 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 men humans to whom no salvation belongs why would you trust another human so I do appreciate the fact that people would trust my opinion Thus, I keep talking. Ladies and gentlemen, as I said, I'm not giving out any new information or anything like that. I'm just talking. And while I talk, I'm able to pay attention because everybody needs to hear this. Give people information that would benefit them. Okay? Like right now, normally we'd be in the hundreds. Today, 93 degrees, 92 degrees is where we are. How do I explain that? We have clouds today. The thunderstorms that are popping up all around Arizona today is horrific. Do you talk about getting more than enough rain? This is the way it was when I was in Arizona, getting all those monsoon rains. And I tell you, if you ain't never been through a monsoon, a hailstorm, a windstorm, a sandstorm, a thunderstorm, all in the same day within a couple of minutes of each other, you ain't seen nothing. And then after the monsoon passes, uh, I had a friend, his name was Todd. And Todd and I, before Todd got married, <laughs> anyway, Todd and I would go up into the mountains right after, right after it started raining. And he had a little sports car. I forgot the the model. Uh, it was it was an unusual one because I hadn't seen that model. But he had a little sports car, and he had the only one, literally one of the only ones in the city. Nobody else had it. And we go up into the mountains and we sit and we talk. He was a Jehovah's Witness, and he was an elder in the congregation. And we sit and we talk and we watch the lightning storm. And I can tell you, those were good times. I haven't had times like that since. Why? Because Todd, very good friend. Uh, I haven't spoke to Todd since 1997 because I moved away and just lost contact after he got married. After he got married, we hung out a lot, lot, lot less. And I understand that because you get married, you got somebody else to feed with your lost in emotions and your time. And I get it. And the young lady he married, nobody liked her. Mama didn't like her. Sister didn't like her. Brother didn't like her. And I knew the mama, sister, and brother. And they used to go by the house and sit with them all the time. And they used to just talk about it. They used to say, wait a minute, hold on, y'all. That's his wife, not yours. <laughs> you ain't got to live with her. He is marrying that young lady, so nah, y'all got to give her a chance. They, the only the mother uh, was a Jehovah's Witness, 
the son was not, and the daughter, I believe she was studying to become a Jehovah's Witness, and Jehovah's Witnesses, we don't act like that, but Jehovah's Witnesses are people too. Sorry, they are. Most Jehovah's Witnesses become Jehovah's Witnesses because somebody... Open up! It's the police! Knocked on their door. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm getting ready. My cell phone is poised because the assembly for Jehovah's Witnesses is ready to play while I'm doing some work on the computer. Uh, and so when I did that, when I hit the tapped on the uh, desk, it joggled the screen so that it started playing. So I apologize. So ladies and gentlemen, I do understand why people want to be able to talk directly to me, but there's too many of you. And I, I've already talked at length about how thinking that right there is a chore. It takes a whole lot of energy to think. Now, no, 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 no. That's why you see the commercials with the person, the little computer gears in their head and the car cartoons, computer gears in their head. And all of a sudden, smoke starts to appear, and they have to oil it to get it to go again. Or you see the light bulb on somebody's head, all denoting energy. If you only knew that the brain takes most of your energy during the day, okay? Most of your energy is stored in your kidneys. You don't believe me? Go and do the research. Your kidneys is your battery. That's your reservoir, your battery backup. Oh no, your heart pumps. Your heart pumps electricity. That's what charges the kidneys. Remember, everything goes through the kidneys. You guys just have to start understanding the body from a mechanical standpoint. So the kidney is the, like the fuel cell where the energy is stored. Because you guys do know you're a perpetual motion machine. Once it got started, once you get started! Okay, once that machine got started, ladies and gentlemen, it hasn't stopped. Go ahead, all of you are perpetual motion machines. Scientists to this day cannot explain how they pumped, start, or jump started this engine, an engine that's built on energy. Pay attention. Energy. Everything is energy. A rock has energy. A rock has energy? Man, that's why they came and invaded them in that war and everything. Sitting up there hanging that man talking about he was stealing all the energy. He wasn't stealing all... Oh. Oh, uh, you meant a rock. Like R-O-C-K, not R... Oh, 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 Iraq. Oh, and rock. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, everything has energy in it. Even if it appears, it doesn't have energy. You know what doesn't have energy in it? Can anybody tell me? The only thing that does not have energy in it is nothing. Nothing is the only thing that doesn't have energy. And if you look at existence, if you look at everything that exists, no matter on what plane you want to say it's on, there is no such thing as nothing. However, nothing has been invented. What you talking about, Willis? Yeah, nothing nothing does exist. It, it, it was didn't exist at first. There was no such thing as nothing at first. But there is a such thing as nothing. See, there was the void, but that wasn't nothing. It was a void. It, it had a name. But right now, the nothing is nicknamed the second death. That's where there is absolutely nothing. No chance of return. No knowledge of being there. Just the second death. You don't want that one. <laughs> that first death is your best one. What you want the second death? Keep on doing what you're doing. Uh, okay, anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, because the brain takes so much energy to function, because remember, that controls everything in the body. So the brain is the energy. I mean, the engine. The brain is the engine. Let me say it again. The brain is the engine. The heart is just the alternator. The kidney, well, that's the battery storage. But the brain is the, en the engine. And all the rest of those limbs and everything, those are the wheels and tires. And the body is all the inner compartment. That's where you store everything. You feel me? And then you got your, your fuel consumption because 
You guys are one of those hybrid perpetual motion machines. And so what happens is if you leave that energy going and going and you overdo it without shifting gears, without relaxing, but you keep it whining at a high pitch without shifting gears into a lower gear, eventually you're going to tax out that engine. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I have done. I've taxed out my engine. So roughly a couple of years from now, ha -ha, I will be regressed, not regressing. I'm regressing now as we speak. Don't worry about me. I don't want to see no emails because you do it. I'm going to give you my word. I don't have to give my word on things like this, but I'm going to give you my word because when I say don't do something, some of you think that you get to do whatever you want to do. I don't need your comments about it. You make a comment in my email and I will block you. I had one guy invite me to block him. Go ahead and block me if you want. So I gave him his wish. Okay, I'd already blocked him the first time because I told him he was giving me some information that he said was valuable and I thought it was too. But ladies and gentlemen, that's not what I do. If you give me something, I will pass it on to people if it's along the track of the information that I'm talking about. It's very seldom when I just put up information just to be putting up information that I have not vetted. You feel me? So, ladies and gentlemen, as far as my health is concerned, that's none of your mother, I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, that's none of your business. Leave my health to me. I'm a grown man. I get to choose my health. I have a lot of people telling me, well, I didn't want to call you because I knew. Look here, mother. The next time, -wee, I got to sit up here and hold my tongue. I don't need any of you determining whether or not I'm too busy. I will tell you when I'm busy. I don't have a problem holding my tongue. Like I told you, because of these these different elements, the retrograde amnesia, and that was the... I almost forgot about that one. Oh, God, he made a punny. He said he almost forgot, and he's talking about amnesia. Oh, he's an idiot. Your mama's an idiot. Oh, yeah, she's an idiot, too. She's my mama. Anyway... Uh, and then the aphasia the aphasia is just losing the ability to communicate ladies and gentlemen that's going to happen I've known about that literally since 2001 but definitely since 2013 there's nothing that can be done that's for my benefit not, not to harm me I, I know I know I know it doesn't sound right to you and it doesn't matter just understand it's already taken care of Okay, I'm going to break away for just a second, and let me just say this so that some of you, some of you might get it. I just, it just came to my realization that certain people watch my videos whom I would not have expected to have watched my videos, and they are surprising me because they weren't supposed to be watching these. But please understand that there are other people who have had similar experiences as myself, and they have their own things that they're going to have to go through that they are aware of in advance but I specifically asked for knowledge of what would happen to me personally that would be adverse so that I could prepare be careful what you ask for be careful what you ask for because that wasn't the best thing in the world I could have asked for that came with a lot of stress and then, Lord have mercy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, because I know and have seen my future, even the place where I'm living, I know, I know, I'm going, I'm going to tell some of y'all this because some of y'all going to get it and some of y'all ain't going to get it. This is the county where my soon-to-be wife, not soon-to-be tomorrow, not soon-to-be next year, but soon-to-be wife, this is where she lives. I am not here to meet her now. I will meet her in the future, but this is that county. I live in that county. That's the only reason why I moved here. Okay? Known about it, known about it, known about it. 2013. So this is all a plan. Trust me, I would not have moved here. I, I would have, but I wouldn't have. Do you, you know what I mean? I wouldn't have moved to this area. I would have moved further towards the beach, which is 80 mile difference between here and the beach. So... I would have moved closer to the beach, but this is a very this is a very expensive area to live. 
okay, literally a very expensive area. It is just as expensive to live here in most cases as it is to live in Los Angeles and in some cases even more expensive because you have more land access here than you do in Los Angeles. All right, never mind. Um, but because I know what's going to happen and because I've known for years and because I could talk about the pandemic that was getting ready to happen, not like everybody else was talking about that we know that there's going to be, there's a possibility. I could do specifics. I could write down... Did you say Pacifics? I said specifics. Oh, well, I say specifics. Either way, it's specifics. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what the issue is, is that I was only telling people, I wrote it down, that people were going to be using elbows to greet each other. Elbows. Imagine that. When was the last time prior to 2000 and 17 that you used an elbow to greet somebody other than having your hands dirty and not able to touch your hands or you were washing dishes or something yeah that's what i thought or you do a fist bump a fist bump people y'all know who y'all stole that from so stop sitting up there fronting like you can call it a fist bump you know it's called dab a fist dab mother I'm sorry, always want to take something from somebody and then, then, then give it your own name and make it look like you created it. Ladies and gentlemen, you all know that since the 80s, the homies have been taking that fist that they used to hold up in the air and been dabbing each other with it. Then they started putting knives in it and started stabbing each other with it. You know what I'm saying? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that we know where it got started. Okay? This is how rumors get started. Started with the jealous people and they get mad for something they had and somebody else is holding. Tell me that temptation is very hard to resist. Ooh, these wicked women. Ooh, they just persist. I'm sorry, that's Club Nouveau and rumors. Anyway, let's continue. So because of knowing what's going to happen, I can tell you guys that I asked for one thing. Oh, what what you asked for? I asked for the ability of helping the people out there because they were lost. Ah, uh, we're not lost. We know exactly where we are. We're in a state of confusion. That's right. It's a nice state. This is our symbol right here. Yep, our symbol is ignorance. That word right there, that's our logo. We are in a state of confusion and ignorance is our logo. Yep, that's us. Well, as I was saying, I asked for the ability to help those individuals, to help them understand now, mind you, Jehovah's Witnesses knock on people's doors to help them understand scripture. That's the only reason why they do that. They go knock on people's doors to help them understand scriptures from their Bibles. Well, y'all got your own Bible! Yeah, that's that, that's that line. Uh, we heard it so many times, but we don't have our own Bible, you ignorant mother. I mean, you're stupid. I mean, you dumb. I mean, anyway, there are a lot of ignorant people out there who spew out what they've heard. And you guys know how much I hate individuals who just hear something from somebody and then regurgitate what they heard. Ladies and gentlemen, do not listen to those people on video. That's what you keep hearing me talk about. If they're not showing it to you, don't listen to them. Ladies and gentlemen, Jehovah's Witnesses are constantly showing you information. I learned how to do research because I was a Jehovah's Witness as a child. Yes, I grew into being a Jehovah's Witness, whereas everybody else become a Jehovah's Witness because somebody knocks on their door. My father became a Jehovah's Witness prior to my birth. Okay, my mama wasn't keen on it. She used to go to the hall and everything, but wasn't keen on it. Told us, y'all going to get to make the choice for y'all self, is what she said. Ladies and gentlemen, no child, no, no, child, no child should be allowed to make the choice for themselves on anything. Not even what they're going to wear to school that day. Okay, I don't care about peer pressure. Do not start letting your child make those choices whom you think are innocent choices. Because when you start letting them make choices on their own without giving them a foundation for which to make those choices... That's where you're going to mess up and that's where you're going to lose. You have to establish a foundation first before you start giving that child choices that they get to make on their own. 
I believe and I will tell you that it is bad parenting to let a child do what a child wants to do. To tell them what well, a choice is your make good choices. You make good decisions today. Really? You gotta be kidding me. I apologize. Those type of things is whew, makes this world interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, half of us are backwards, most of us are stupid, and the rest of us are ignorant. So because we're backwards, stupid, ignorant people, we need help. We cannot do this on our own. It's impossible. We will run ourselves into the ground. As I said, I'm not a global warming person. You don't believe in global warming? No, but I do know for a fact that we are damaging the environment. I know that for a fact. Am I a climate change person? Yes, I believe they, the powers that be, are changing the climate. Look at this weather pattern that's over the West Coast. Ladies and gentlemen, when was the last time we've seen this? Storms are coming up from Mexico. And they're traveling north. Again, normally it's west to east. But no, they are headed north. And then after they get past my area and up towards San Francisco, they head east. That don't make no sense. Arizona, monsoon after monsoon after monsoon. You heard the one about the casinos in Las Vegas yesterday flooding things out. Why? Because monsoons come with torrential downpours. That's that rain, all of that moisture that hit Kentucky that led to those floodings and the deaths of those people and their families who had no clue, no idea what was coming. Ladies and gentlemen, these weather people, they know what monsoonal weather is. They know that the potential for downpours with monsoonal weather, yes, even if it's well past its creation area, they carry a lot of water. And remember, as it rains and the sun is heating up on top of the storm, they're still picking up more water, moisture in the air. So they have a lot of junk to drop. So I'm sorry that those people have had to go through that. Ladies and gentlemen, as I've said before, the pandemic that I saw, <laughs> that wasn't that junk we just went through. I promise you, that what we just went through ain't, man, that, that's nothing. What I will tell you is the one that was going on in India, remember when bodies were piling up on the streets in India and they were burning bodies on the, on the street corners? That's what I saw. All throughout the United States is where that was. All throughout the world is where that was, where the mortuaries got too crowded, where they did not, could not come and pick up the bodies from people's homes. I've told you guys this before. That was here in the United States. Sorry, Charlie. I mean, I really am sorry because they're about to do this to y'all. And there's nothing I can do about it. I can't stop it and you can't stop it. The machine has already been set in motion. They're, they're, it's a perpetual motion engine that they have just started when it came to viruses. Why? Because now you have three of them. And I, I, I was only thinking, what if two of the viruses came together? I'm calling it a mega virus. But if you have three come together or four come together after one has mutated, then you got a, a cluster of uh, fornication. Yeah, cluster fornication. That that's what we do. That's 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 basically what that is. Cause somebody's getting okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it will get out of control. I'm gonna do you guys one more favor. Look up the bee depopulation. And notice that the bees are dying off because of the chemicals they're putting in our atmosphere. Don't, don't don't take my word for it. They talked about it for years. Talked about the pesticides and everything, but y'all keep thinking it's just pesticides. Pesticides are not being sprayed on every crop. Pesticides are not being sprayed throughout the entire world. It's not the pesticides alone. Ladies and gentlemen, it's all that junk they're putting in our fuel, our water, our food. There's chemicals everywhere. You don't believe me? Look at every package you get. Chemicals. That's why everybody's into this organic thing because it's not chemicals. 
it's not genetically manipulated. Geminetics? Oh, yeah, because I go to the gym all the time. So it's not genetically manipulated. Okay. Thank you. Oh, no problem. I, I give all kind of... You got. You need some other information, just come to me. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Just go ahead. Any subject, and I'll just come up with a reason. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to get in touch with you. Oh, no, no, no. You don't have to contact me first. I'll contact you. I, you have my word. I will contact you. Okay. Now that we've gotten rid of... No, 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 no. I'm talking about gotten rid of the other conversation. Yeah, I know you're still there. All right. Whew. I'm sorry, waiting to exhale. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, as we said, the organizations that I founded are not those type of organizations that are going to sit up here and tell you, oh, this is your last chance. There's no last chance. There will be no more sap packs. I've already made that quite clear. This will be the last sap pack. We will not be inventing some new security under a new name. It won't happen. Read my lips. This ain't one of those scenarios where somebody changes their mind 10 years, 15 years later. I will not even, when I'm gone from the organization, they will not even be allowed. That will be part of the contract. And if they do it, I will shut the thing down. That you have my word. Well, y'all see what I'm capable of. Look, the people at the Legal Redress Right Commission, I tried to talk to them. I called up some of them. I said, look, guys, the, the, the idiot who's helping you guys, the idiot who's running the show, Ron West, um, <clears throat> Semen Juice, I said, you know what he did, right? And they knew what he did, and they stayed there. But they originally was supposed to be loyal to me look i don't want nobody's loyalty i don't need your loyalty but i thought they would have more self-worth than that ladies and gentlemen yeah i said self-worth than that yes you heard me not self-worth but self-worth than that because you can't get no worse than that do you guys not understand if somebody does something to somebody they're gonna do it to somebody else the same thing Look, if you don't walk away from something cold turkey, you're going to sit up there and you're going to be eating cold turkey. Okay? So you got to just walk away cold turkey and stay away from turkey. Or you'll end up repeating. So the idiot who did that kept repeating the same old thing on everybody. Okay? Kept the videos up because he knew everybody was coming to the channel because of me. And then when they told him about the videos and talking about the West Juice, hoo-wee, must have pissed somebody off because he done deleted all of them videos. Man. Whew. But that's okay. You see, this is a different type of YouTube channel. We don't need views. And we don't need subscribers. What you mean you don't need... That's exactly what I said. I don't ask for them, don't look for them. Google strips the subscribers anyway. Every time somebody subscribes, every time you'll see the numbers go up, and all of a sudden, the numbers are going down. What? How do numbers go down? Because Google removes them. Google literally, not because they're deleting accounts, they just take them off the subscriber list. They do it on purpose. I keep hearing people say, I don't get no notifications. I know. I know, that's why you got to keep checking back at the channel every once in a while. You might see something you like, might see some new updates. Ladies and gentlemen, the last video I did, there was some critting and creaking and creaking and all that junk in the audio. Again, that's the system. That's not me because I've shown you several videos where I haven't used any auxiliary equipment. And the videos were coming out just fine. Oh, okay. Over to the right. Over, oh, that's just right. Okay. Anyway, and so because of that, uh, that's the system. They're trying to make it as horrible of an experience as possible. Nothing I can do because I'm not going to be recording on one unit, copying the file, transferring it to another unit, uploading the file. Not going to happen. That's too much work. You know, I'm just putting out information and I got to get to the Eon channel. Eon.tv is the sites where we need it but we haven't put up any content yet 
this week and the next week I'm working on that I have a couple of lawsuits that I'm working on ladies and gentlemen like we said SACOM is now going to be helping people with mortgages that's going to be our advertisement if you are pre foreclosure you need to contact SACOM to assist you with your pre foreclosure not now April 15th is when they're going to start with the pre foreclosure package we will respond to the idiots for you we will be doing videos telling you exactly how the process is going to be you're going to literally literally understand one thing we don't want your property keep a copy of this video and the other one done just like it where I say the same thing we don't want your property we're not trying to take your property we don't want to lean on your property we don't want to stand on your property we don't want to live in your property we don't want to sell your property SACOM is not into that type of property making business we don't need your property I've already shown you guys what I did in New Mexico 2.2 million acres if I was really serious about getting property man I'd be going after my 2.2 million acres but I'm not okay we have an organization an organization that we are going to allow people to put the interests of their property in and the trustee will then speak on their behalf from that point on and once everything is over that property and that interest is given right back to the beneficiaries and look at that you get to name yourselves as beneficiaries well there the reason why I'm not giving a lot of detail right now because there's gonna be a bunch of people trying to do this before we even get started little crackheads I know there are some people out there thinking that they're doing this but they're not doing what we are about to do because nobody is again because people haven't thought it out yeah yeah they, they thought out some ways but they haven't thought out the surefire way of getting someone's attention and that's what we're about to do all right ladies and gentlemen I've kept y'all for 47 minutes it's uh, 47 minutes too long well tell me about it oh god this is just too long of a video to talk about nothing well thank you all for being here and I say please have a coconut smile and I will see you all in a while I'm gone